Hey guys, so this is bringing you another video. Welcome to something a little bit different, but again, it's good to do things a little bit different every now and then. Considering we do two videos a day every day, you know, one slightly different video I think is good. Um, so I wasn't 100% going to do a world's pick'em, but I opened it because people on Twitch chat were telling, telling me, like, am I going to do it? Give it a go. And what made me decide I'm going to do a video about it, one, I think some people who follow pro play might just find my answers funny. Uh, but secondly, I liked these. So they've never really done this before. This is champion specific things of like, will, which will be the most picked champion during Worlds, which will be the most banned champion. That's kind of cool. So there's a little bit of theory crafting going on with how strong or weak champions are. And then also taking in the pro meta because that's different to solo queue meta. So this is actually kind of interesting. If you guys enjoy this, please do throw a like on it. Just also to mention about Worlds as it as you know in itself, am I going to be doing anything in relation to Worlds? The answer is yes. So last year, we didn't do much. You know, I'm never going to do a crazy amount. Um, but basically, they have updated the terms of like what content creators can do. We can't. We still can't do streams of it. We still can't show the world's broadcast or not on our own stream they even don't really want us to do those watch party things of having the time they don't like that because ultimately they kind of want focus on their content uh but as for youtube content not a live stream kind of thing before it used to be uh one day after a game happened we could upload our own version our own commentary but obviously yes still using their broadcast with just muted microphones or muted uh, sound which isn't ideal but it's just the way of things um they have updated that that we can now actually upload content the moment the game ends so if a crazy game happens and people go huz you need to watch that one i can record it straight away and upload it to youtube straight away um so that is quite good um but so yeah we, we'll, we'll kind of do that again hey fighter so let's get into it so who will be the most picked or who will be picked the most during champion select at worlds which champion okay so there's a couple ways to go about this the smart way of doing it i would say would be an ad carry because ad carry and it's been the same way for a long time has always been basically a trifecta of strength is there's usually only three absolute AD carries that are ever picked. And if you pick that one, then you pick the counter. If you pick that one, it picks the counter. And it kind of works in a triangle, where obviously top lane has got more than three champions. Mid lane has got more than three. Jungle's got more than three. AD, AD carry has always just been that role that typically there's only ever three strong at one time. So... Considering the buffs and nerfs that just happened, I think Misfortune is still strong kaisa is really gaining popularity and she is also a a pretty damn big world's pick oh snap <laughs> uh, nessie with a thousand plus ultra says surprise thank you so much nessie appreciate it man um because yeah you could go misfortune severe is very good for worlds kaisa i think is more of a, a carry angle and she's also gaining a lot of popularity, but I don't know if she'll have as much popularity over something more team-based like a Severe. Hey, Aniara. So is Zeri also as a pro pick? Yeah. I think AD carry is the smart role to pick here. Zeri isn't good. She's very good in the hands of good players. That's the thing. And we're going into Worlds. Remember, they changed Zeri fundamentally to being... Well, they, they made her what she originally was designed for, basically really good in the hands of very good players. Low absolute damage, but high mobility with DPS. So she is very popular in the hands of, like, challenger tier players or worlds tier players. So she still will be played. I think I'm going to go... Severe, I think, is the safe pick. I honestly think Severe is the safe pick for worlds of... She can fit in pretty much every comp. She's also good for team base. She's good for blind pick. So I honestly think I'm, I'm, I'm going to go severe. For most picked champion during Worlds, severe. Which champion will be banned most? So this is where potentially a Hecarim, an Udyr, a Zeri, these three kind of in, are in my mind a little bit. Even Callista as well. She's a very big Worlds champion. Silas, yeah. Silas. 
We literally just played a game of silence. Oh, is Uda disabled for worlds? Ah, that's good information to have. Yumi? Yumi's annoying, but I don't know if she's like crazy, crazy good in worlds. I don't know. Is she? I think the safe one here is, to be honest for me, I think it's Zeri. I think Zeri is by far the safest thing here. So I'm going to go with Zeri. I remember you all can do this at home. Um, it's on the LOL esports website. Do your own uh, pickums. And then, all right, so who will have the highest win rate at Worlds? Minimum five games played. This is where I'd be tempted to do Hecarim. Or Orn. Oh, maybe Orn. Well, that's the thing. So, Nessie just said Silas. Silas, I, I do think, is going to be a high ban champion as well. And he might if a champion is really high ban they might not even get five games played that's you again it has to have five games hmm highest win rate you know actually what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna put kaisa kaisa is gaining strength popularity she's a crazy pro pick she rewards good play and she is strong kaisa who will be played in the most different roles as at Worlds? Oh. Oh, which champion is going to be played in the most roles? Okay, so this is only a, a handful of champions it could technically be. Um, So who right now? Seraphine technically can support and mid. Karma can technically do it. Pantheon could technically do it. Poppy could technically do it. Ooh, Sejuani's a good shout. Sejuani can arguably do four rolls. Like, she's a cheese mid-pick, but they can do it. Seraphine. Lux, Lux is too weak at the moment. Poppy is tempting because Poppy's really popular in Korea still. So they might prioritize her quite a lot. And Poppy can be both top jungle, but that's only two rolls. Technically, you could Poppy support. Oh, what do I want to go here? Um, Renekton can go mid top. Hmm. Sejuani, I think, is the smart play here. Sarah is honestly, I think it's Seraphine, but she's not too strong anymore, so she might not even be picked. It's Seraphine or Sedge. I think I'm going to go Sejuani. I think Sedge is actually quite a smart pick. You did Maokai, another smart pick. Honestly, those, to me, might actually be the two. Sejuani and Maokai, because Maokai just got his update, and he's really strong, so it's on pros' minds more. Oh, snap. Do I change the Maokai? I might change the Maokai. I'm going to think about it. And then who will have the most total deaths at Worlds? Okay. So it has to be an all-in champion in theory. So, well, it's either a support, because they die really quick, or it has to be an all-in champion. So, like, could be Hecarim, could be a support like Lulu, because Lulu probably will get played. Yeah, people are saying Jarvan. Jarvan is okay at the moment in the meta, and he's an all-in, jumps into the middle. That's quite a good one as well. So, Tremendous said, or a top laner, they get ganked a lot. They do, but a top laner, I think their deaths slow down later into the game. Nautilus, yeah, Nautilus could die quite a lot as well because, like, they will just sacrifice themselves for a good engage. Yasuo. Yasuo is a good shout because they'll probably die 10 times a game, but they might only have, like, five games in the whole of Worlds. I think either it would be something like a Nautilus. Jarvan is also really smart. But you've got to think of, like, how often will a champion get played? Because this is total amount of deaths for a champion. So you like you don't want to pick something too obscure. So like yeah, Jarvan might die more in an average game, but maybe he's not as popular as like something that's picked all the time. Ooh, that's a good shout, Renekton. I think it actually could be Renekton. He's still played a lot. He's all in. He doesn't mind sacrificing himself in late game because at that point he's kind of fallen off. That actually makes a bit more sense. Like, I wouldn't pick a duelist top laner because a duelist, they actually die quite little, but a Renekton wants to fight. I'm actually going to go Renekton. 
Okay, I, again, I might change these, but these are my default right now. I'm still thinking if I swap that. All right, next up. This is where I completely fall apart because I don't know the current players of League. Who will have the highest KDA at Worlds? Right, basically, I'm going to look for a player I recognize <laughs> and go with this Faker in. Is Faker still playing? Is Hello F Faker's here? Faker. I know him. Just put, I might put Faker for all five. Chovy. Everyone's saying Chovy. Is he good? Chovy or Ruler? All right, we go him. I don't know who he is. Brilliant. Is he the new Faker? Is he kind of, you know? Hmm. All right. Who will have the most different champions of worlds? God, I don't know. Who? Are, well, okay, what, which role has the most diverse? Mid is fairly diverse. AD carry, definitely not. Jungle, probably not. Support. It's between mid or top for diversity. Oh, dude, yes. I know that one. Caps. He plays a lot of champions. Yep. Okay, good. Who would get at least one pentakill at Worlds? All right, I'm doing it. I'm just going to say Caps. Or Yankos. Does he still play? Wait, he doesn't play. Who am I thinking of? Is it Yankos? Yeah. I think it'll be Caps, though. All right. Who will get the most first bloods at Worlds? Who's aggressive? Anyone? So I am using Twitch chat here because I just don't know. Oh, Yankos. Yeah, okay. I'm apparently supporting G2 at Worlds. Who will get the most kills in a single game at Worlds? Is anyone... Okay, people that know more than me. Who plays Vex? Who's the best Vex pro player right now in mid? Anybody? Does anybody know who is like the Vex player? Faker? Does he play Vex? Ruler? Toast. Nobody plays Vex. Really? Because, like, Vex is the type of champion that could just go on an absolute tear and get 20 kills in one game. Vex is a meta. You will probably see her in Worlds. I would put a little bit of money on... You probably will see. All right, well, it, well it's going to be a mid or an AD carry that gets the most kills in one game. Um, should we, We've done a lot of mid. Should we pick an AD carry? Who's, like, the favourites? Someone said Guma. Who's Guma? Oh, him. T1. We'll do him. Boom. I don't know who he is. Fair enough. All right, next up. Which team will win Worlds? No idea. Who's the number one seed? Gen G. Judge? What? God, there's so many teams I don't recognize. Wait, Mad Lions made it to Worlds? Okay. I thought they were terrible. Well, they were a few years ago. So wait, people are saying either Gen G or JDG. Oh, them. So it's either Gen G or JD Gaming. We'll go Gen G. Sure. Which team will place... Oh, dude, what? Okay. EU Pride Fnatic. Second. Roll never give up. Never count them out. I know that. You all know that. This one? Uh... I don't know that one. We'll come back to it. Wait, what's that one? Sorry. Which team for the... Oh, wait. Oh, which team... From a region. Wait, what? Where's. I'm so confused. Was Genji. Okay, question. Where's this? Where's Genji? I've got winner of playing group A, playing group. Oh, wait, there's play ins. Oh. Right, okay, that makes sense. All right. So, which team from region. Wait, which team from a region with two seeds or less will advance the furthest during worlds? Is Saigon Buffalo Esports, were they used to be Saigon Taipei? Is that the same team? People are saying GAM Esports. Okay. 
All right, we'll do that. We'll do GAM Esports. And then which team will play the most different champions at Worlds? Who's... Well, I think G2 maybe, no? It's either G2, Royal never give up, historically, or T1, because they all play... They're all mad lads. Um... But you also have to sometimes think an under, underrated team, like a team that, you know, quite isn't going to make it to the, the, the back end. They sometimes pull out really weird things to try and get like a cheesy win. So that's like a lot of champions. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually quite good logic. Knight just said Gen G or JDG because they will go the furthest and have to play the most champions in theory. That's a good point, too. So don't pick a team that's going to get knocked out. I will go Gen G. All right. Event. How many reverse sweeps will there be at Worlds out of a total of 11? Um, how many reverse sweeps? There's not normally a lot. We're going to go two. Let's go two. Because, like, it's three plus. So we'll go two. How many pentakills will there be at Worlds? I think, honestly, the way that the game is designed, the damage is still, still crazy. I think we're going to see over three pentakills. What will be the duration of the longest game in Worlds? Ooh, so my really long solo queue games are typically, like, the long solo queue games are in the 45-minute to 50-minute range. Like, they are the long ones. And I don't have millions and millions of dollars on the line. I think it could be slightly longer than that. So I don't think it would be over 55 minutes, but I think 50 minutes to 54.59, I think, in that category. Because, like... Yeah, they, you remember, there, there's millions of dollars on the line. They don't play crazy, crazy. How many Baron Steels are there be at Worlds? Ooh, snap. Okay. Um, Again, Baron Steels are quite hard. Meta-wise, Lee Sin will still probably be played by some champions. You basically have to think, like, what is the good meta, like, meta jungle? Are there good meta-stealing Baron junglers? Are there good junglers in the meta that can baron steal lee sin is one of the best nunu is obviously one of the best but he's not meta i don't think there's going to be too many i'm going to go three to five and then our final is which drake will be killed the most i mean what that's a weird question because like that is just whatever turns up at worlds so infernal or hextech are the highest prioritized so like surely it's going to be one of those two because oh, that's such a weird question. Like that, this is just complete and utter luck of what's just going to turn up the most. Pros love ocean. Yeah, no, they love it, but they don't. They can't change it, if you know what I mean. Uh, Mr. Legend one two three five. Thanks so much, dude, for the seventeen months of Prime. It says hello, hello, King Pleb. Been a while. How you doing, man? Um. So yeah, this is just utter luck of which one is showing up. Like there's no strategy in this. It's just will it show up or not? I'm just gonna go infernal. There we go. It can't be chem. But that is it. So the only thing that I'm potentially tempted to do, obviously, I can change these picks for the next five days of me doing this. Maokai is what I'm tempted to change because Maokai technically can top jungle and support. And because he's just had a rework, it's probably going to be on the minds of the coaches and the analysts more than Sejuani. What exactly is a, re a reverse sweep? Okay, so a, re a reverse sweep in a best of five is one team wins the, the first two games and then they end up losing the next three so they get reverse swept. It does happen. Uh, usually it's quite rare, but it does happen. Um, I'm going to change it. I'm decided. I'm going Maokai. I think, again, if Sejuani wins it, I'm going to be sad. But there we go. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to do, obviously, your pickums. Uh, it's on the LOL Esports website. Just Google LOL Esports, and at the top, there's Schedule, VOD, Standing, Rewards, and Pick'em. Um, so do it. Let me know what you think of mine. Do I Am I right? Am I wrong? Obviously, the area that I don't know most about is, well... The player and the team ones. Um, but yeah, why is Zeri banned most? Because Zeri is a crazy champion in the hands of good players. And it's Worlds. The best players in the world. 
So people won't want their opponent to have Zeri because she's absolutely nuts. Um, again, you don't sometimes see the true strength of a champion in our own solo queue games or the win rates and stuff because players aren't that good. So, yeah. But anyway, that's going to be it. Bit of a different video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Bit of a laugh. If you did like it, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. I know how to unleash eternal peace.